Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. You know, I don't know if you guys realize this, but you, the viewers, are my celebrities. Um, you're the whole reason that uh, I do this every day, twice a day, usually if I can. And um, But I saw something today that made me think about all of the folks out there who watch all of the YouTube channels, me included. And uh, there was some good advice in this article that I, I saw and now that I've uh, plagiarized, but not totally. But there was just, it was a huge article, a few good points that I thought I'd share. And then I do this reading for you. <laughs> so here we go. So subscribers, remember you only have one life. It's not a dress rehearsal. Live each day fully because you don't know what's around the corner. All stages of your life, fear none. They're all magical. So I'm into 60 of them and they have been. The hardest one is be yourself, age with grace. Focus on positive aging instead of anti-aging and accept changes in your body and in your mind as you get older just be yourself shine your light love and respect those around you um, the way you want them to love and respect you take lots of photos um, you'll celebrate them when the people you love are gone and the photos that are taken of you will be celebrated after you're gone so remember that let go of the anger uh, and let gratitude and joy flood into your life. Those um, important to you that you love, show them every single day. Tell them every day that you love them. Get out of a bad relationship fast. You can't change another person. And that might be the best thing you can do for them. Uh, trust your instincts. Never speak badly about yourself. And uh, be kind to yourself. Let go of what you can't control. Uh, it feels wrong. Don't do it. Um, just be you. Be a warrior. Learn to be resourceful and self-sufficient. Don't be afraid. When you get there, you'll be okay. Life and nature prepare you for each phase of life, whether you understand it or not. If you know a younger person, share your wisdom your experience is a gift. Uh, take off your invisibility cloak <laughs> uh, and let the world meet the real you, wrinkles and all. Let your life be an inspiration to others. You know, what is the one piece of advice that you would give to someone half your age? Why don't you just put that in the comments? I'd really like to see that. Okay, guys, this one's for you. Okay, just you. Uh, I'm going to use the Druid Craft Tarot. These are nice cards. It's always so hard to get them out of the box. I don't know why I don't think about doing this before I turn on the camera, but um, here, you'll just see it all, warts and all. Um, and I've shown you before, it's a great book, lots of information. They split the cards up into these two little wells, which is, if I have to complain about something, it's gonna be that. Uh, it's kind of a pain to get these out of those uh, little wells. But now I'll stick it back in here so that I can struggle with it a little bit later. No, I wasn't smart and left it open. But actually, it's the, the space of these cards uh, stuffed in there that makes it um, uh, really tight. I mean, now you can probably open it really easily, but I'm not going to show you. You just have to imagine that. So these are the Druid Craft Terror, and this reading is for you. But the funny thing is, you don't get to ask the questions. So, oh, did you want to see the cards? Okay, let me show you. Sorry, I don't always uh, remember. And some people don't like this part. So if you don't like this part, it'll take, you know, just a few seconds, really. So, you know, go get something to drink or pick your nose or whatever it is that you do um, when you don't think people are looking. And these cards are really nice. And look, what a great way to mix them up. Couldn't be easier. And you get to enjoy your probably 30 or $35 uh, spend on these cards, I'm going to guess. So every chance I get to look at them, and I want to do that. So I feel like I've gotten some of my money's worth. But uh, so what question would you ask if you were here and you could ask it? Um, why don't we start like that? So those of you who 
who watch me would uh, would be the ones looking at this uh, channel right now. Uh, there's not going to be lots of folks look at this who aren't already uh, watching. And by the way, thanks a lot. It really means a lot to me. You, you can't imagine uh, how exciting it is to see that. But anyway, so for those of you who are watching, and even if you uh, are not watching at this very moment, listen, I've really made an effort to tune in a little bit, to really be open. And so I believe that something in here is going to be useful. And if it's not, you know, maybe turn it on a little bit later and see uh, what you think about it. Or just uh, give up altogether. <laughs> but uh, I'd rather you didn't do that. So we've cut the cards. One more shuffle. And then I promise you I'll get started with your reading. Of course, that was the worst shuffle I could ever do, but I'm not going to break my promise. Here we go. Nice spread of the cards. And the question is, cards, give me what's going to be most useful for these faithful uh, viewers um, and, um, and what will mean something to them. And uh, for viewers, um, really take a minute to clear your mind and, uh, and think about what's important. And uh, let's see if we can do this together. So we're going to take six cards. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if I didn't say this last number, wouldn't that be upsetting? I mean, don't you expect me to say one, two, three, four, five, and then six? So, and see, that's just how life works, you know. When we meet the people, um, we expect them to uh, react or present in a way that we've already kind of predetermined. So the signifier card for this reading for you, dear, dear, dear uh, viewers, is uh, the Ace of Wands. Take action. Take big action. Get it out there in the open. And look at how this has flourished. And these leaves do have to drop off. You know, every time you create something, you've got its, its inception. You've got it being uh, birthed, whatever that might be. Uh, you, you have the beautiful uh, realization that you have it here. And eventually, everything has to go back and recycle again. But take action, because if you haven't made something move, then there's not going to be anything to recycle. So that's the signifier card. The challenge of that, however, is the Five of Cups. And uh, this always this really kind of makes me emotional. But this Five of Cups, I mean, look at this person. This is a, a, uh, a mourning person. I mean, just standing on the edge of the water, thinking about what they've lost, completely empty. I mean, they've got a couple of cups here that actually look smaller than those that they've lost, and they're just really contemplating over this 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 big wide passage of emotions. And if you could see it up close, these colors are amazing in this in this water. But you know what's on the other side of this is that if they take a deep breath and turn around and really look at their vista, they're in an amazing environment. There's so much here to be um, very thankful for besides this spilt milk. So very important issues can be the ones that, that have caused you so much, such grief and to feel like you're just at the edge. But if you just take a breath and you look around, you'll realize there's a lot of bounty here to be so thankful for. And why in the world wouldn't you uh, want to do that? So that is the, the challenge. It really is the challenge to making something, to getting something going, is uh, especially if you've had uh, a disappointing situation. The basis of all of this, though, is going to be the Prince of Swords. And the Prince of Swords is, you know, he's really coming forward. He's, he's stabbing at you with his truth, with his justice. This is a very angular, very um, possessed sort of uh, prince charging in on this, 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 this monster stallion. And um, so the base of all of this is that, um, is that Prince of Swords, those things that really drive um, us uh, this is the guy who's going to make the people in front of him run, and this is the guy who the people behind him are going to uh, run in after because he's taking all the all the heat. So, action. Understand what you've lost. Understand what you've got. Things have to move forward. And in the recent past, you have death, and that's the end of a cycle. Of course, of course, this would be the past because we have to put the past behind us. You have to start over. Death isn't just death. Death is a new beginning. 
something new has to come of this. And this this crone is actually um, so cherishes the skull that she's got right here. And you can see this spirit kind of wisp up into the sky and this uh, crow probably really taking flight and uh, this serpent just waiting for that moment of abandon when uh, when uh, this poor old crow isn't looking at what she's doing but no this is the past it's death and it has to it has to this has to happen it has to begin a new life um, up in the sky for all of this is the five of wands and there's so many issues there's so many things there's so many little silly things that we squabble over not even worth paying attention to if you look at this this really smart rooster over here couldn't care less about the foolishness that's going on over here and in the end these young lads are just having you know a good time a couple of them look a little serious a couple of them look as if you know it's good fun and that's kind of what all the issues are that come to us in life it's, it can't get worse than that really if you step back even if the worst has happened the um the near future for all of this then is going to be this card the three of wands and you have to plan for the future that you have the path is clear in front of you it's a bright sky and it might be a little dark back here but move forward one foot in front of the other one these are the three of wands are these are fruitful wands these are saplings getting ready to to take bloom so the future is always not only it's there you can't avoid it but you can look at it and take some inspiration from it look at that so the self the self of, of the folks who this reading is, by the way, that's you. Uh, what is it? What's going on with you? Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is, have I done enough? I, I need to make a little harvest here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Pentacles. I'm hoping that it looks like I have. But that's the, that burning question, I guess. In the environment of what? In the environment of what? In the environment of starts. A definite if we have it ends over here in the past then over here in the future of course you've got new beginnings you know you, you're always wondering on that trip did I put everything in the suitcase that I needed did I put that stuff in the car did I if you're on the way you're, you're halfway down the road and you're thinking did I leave the iron on is the oven on is the heater off what, what did I not do did I close the windows that's the environment that we're in the uncertainty of what's going to happen and if we haven't done enough the hopes and the fears is if that wasn't enough is um, the Lord and this is like the Emperor in a typical deck and so this is the guy who we all and you can look at this guy and know that you're gonna do what he says if not it's at your peril it's that simple he's ready to get up out of that chair and swat you with this wand and with these big meaty hands uh, toss you in the right direction okay so the hopes and the fears um, are those who really um, are in charge of us. You could say it's the government, you could say it's your job, you could say it's someone who's important in your life, but that's that's our hope and our fear. And But the uh, the final outcome is going to be the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is a lot of happiness and family and everything coming out the way it should. And, you know, family isn't just your family that you're birthed into. It's the, uh, the family that you collect along the way. Uh, so many times too or it's a family that's convenient it's a family that's around you right now or it's a family maybe that you know that you're going to be uh, connected with again so I think it's a really terrific reading for you guys and I hope it meant something to you it felt very special to me so there you go well I'm Mark this has been my journey through tarot thank you so much for coming by ciao for now